What is up? This is Bunting, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these epic brass leads in Vital. All right, so right away, just going to initialize our patch here. And as I'm doing that, I just want to say the majority of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you enjoy my content and want to see more of it, please consider doing that. That would help me out a lot. All right. So right here, we adjust our basic saw wave. And right away, to make it more brassy, we're going to bring up our attack a bit and bring down our sustain and decay. And also might as well bend it a bit to give it some nicer dynamics. Already sounding much brassier. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our wavetable to low high fold and drag it to around, I would say, frame 39 has some nice harmonics for this type of thing. But as you can tell, it's pretty buzzy. So to do that, we're going to select from our spectral morph our low pass. I want to turn that to around 12.5 or so, but don't worry, we're going to bring out everything as it comes along. So to bring things out, we're going to add some FM is what we're going to do. Turn this to around like 15% or so and enable our second oscillator and turn our pitch, I mean our level, down. Additionally, to leave some room for these higher harmonics and add some more bass, we're going to transpose our first oscillator down 12. Cool. In addition to that, it's a little too buzzy for my taste, so also going to low pass this wavetable right here. Just this saw wave. Okay. Is that where I want it? That'll do. Okay, and to add some stereo and to make it further brass-like, we're going to add some unison, adding multiple voices into this mix, all the way up to 16. And dragging down our detune just a hair, so it's not too phasey and crazy. Cool. Liking how that sounds so far. Now the real magic happens in this filter here. And this filter that we're going to be using is under combs, and it's the band spread flange plus. Now for this, we are going to drag our blend all the way up to stop all this cutoff from happening and also drag a resonance up. And it has this really interesting effect. I'm sure you can hear it. it sounds very brassy. But in addition to this, we are going to turn on our key track because we want it to follow any note that we press. So just drag this up to 100. And I want this just in the right spot, the perfect spot. So I just have 0.035. And that just sounds the best to me, the most brassy, the most tuned for what we're going for. All right, to add some further dynamics to this, we are going to put an LFO on this resonance so it gives it a little, you know. So let's drag this LFO back a bit, kind of shape it up real nice and put it on envelope mode. That way it doesn't re-trigger without us hitting a new note. Drag this back a bit more and assign it to our resonance. Cool. Just getting it just right here. Okay, now into our effects to spice it up even more. First thing is some distortion. And we're going to turn this up to around like 14 or so. That just brings out a lot more higher harmonics and distorts it a bit. Now with all these higher harmonics, kind of need to reshape it a bit. So for that, I'm using this post filter here. I'm going to turn down our resonance and our sign, our previously created LFO. Around a quarter way down and almost reaching the top of our cutoff here. Cool. Now for some stereo. 
this chorus does great but I don't like how fast this frequency is so I'm dragging it way down not freezing it but dragging it down to 16 to make it further stereo and nicer just turning the depth up and I don't want it ringing out there's already enough going on in this sound so I'm turning the feedback down now for it just to affect the high end I'm going to turn our cutoff up and our spread down just a bit awesome sounds good now to bring out some more stuff in our sound I mean don't know what else to say here compressor on multiband with our attack and release up as you can tell that makes a big difference a big wonderful difference and now the finishing touch that any horn cannot live without some reverb let's turn this pre-high cut up kind of shape our little filtered reverb here cutting out most of the lows and just a bit of the highs let's turn down our chorus since we already have one and bring down our size it kind of makes all that reverb just a little more audible a little more upfront and that is our patch and while you're at it you can make the voices mono or you can hit them both at once but I don't know if that's what you're going for but go ahead drag the voices to one and let's play our sound in context <laughs> I think I want a bit more time on this reverb. This makes it sound much bigger. And cut out the lows while you're at it. Cool. So that is our brass patch, our epic horn lead, trap, EDM, dubstep. Use it in whatever, just have fun with it. It's a little precise in the adjustments here and there, especially on that filter. So make sure you follow really closely and get it to the T. All right. If you like this video and learned something, enjoyed, were entertained, be sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions about what I did in here or any suggestions for future videos, please put that in the comments below. And in addition, if you want to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing. That would help me out a lot. And you get to see new sound design tutorials. You get to learn. This is free knowledge right here. All right. This was Bunting. Thanks for watching. Peace out.